Hi, I'm Kyle Pennypacker, and welcome back to Penny Prepper. In today's video, we're going to be talking about bug out bags and what you should look for and stay away from when picking a bug out bag. Before we get started today, I'm going to ask that you like the video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and share. So typically, your first thought will be to grab a military surplus bag or some kick-butt, moly-covered pack. First of all, moly won't do you much good unless you have something to attach to it. Moly and tactical-looking packs attract unwanted attention. You should try to keep everything hidden within the bag. For a bug-out bag specifically, you should go for the gray man look. The goal of a bug out bag is to hold 72 hours worth of supplies that you can easily take with you and hopefully return home after evacuation. With this bag, you want it to look completely inconspicuous as to not draw attention to yourself because people may want what they don't have. What is a bug out bag? Well, the bug out bag is known by many names such as B.O.B., Bob, Good bag, get out of Dodge, go bag, and 72 hour bag. But what is it and why is it so important? This bag is supposed to be packed and ready for any emergency situation, ready for you to leave at a moment's notice. No scrambling to find this or that. It's all in one spot and ready for quick deployment. This is the bag that you use to evacuate with the intention of coming back home after an emergency is over. Most emergencies that you have to evacuate for last about 72 hours or three days. Uh, that's why we call it the 72 hour bag. Yes, we know that sometimes emergencies can last longer or even less than 72 hours. So some additional items that you should have are contact information. This is the perfect place to store a copy of phone numbers, addresses, maps, medical information, and any other important information or documents. You shouldn't only have one copy or the original in one spot. What are you looking for in a bug out bag? You should like to find a single colored backpack with internal organization pockets, padded straps, and well-made zippers. A great way to cut cost and recycle is to use your kids or your own old school bag. You want to be able to lock the zippers, so finding a lock small enough for the zippers that you have already or converting the zippers of an existing bag in a way you can lock them is essential. You'll want the ability to store water in your pack, whether that's water bottles or an internal water sack that you can easily access. You'll want the ability to store 72 hours worth of food, first aid, your emergency information, cash backup, and maybe even an emergency credit card, flashlight, phone charger, and battery pack, but most importantly, clothing. Try to pack things like long sleeves and pants as well as socks. Socks are essential. Also, finding a pack with a secret compartment zipper can really be a lifesaver. What are you looking to avoid in a bug out bag? Really, you're just looking to avoid detection based on your pack. Having a tactical or military style backpack can make you an easy target. When somebody sees that you are more prepared than them, they may try to take what you have. Try to leave behind bulky electronics, video games, junk food, gold and silver, jewelry, items that need to be refrigerated, and anything you can't afford to lose. This is not the inch bag, that is the I'm never coming home bag. That's the bag that you load up and have everything that you need to leave and never return. Yes, you should have a bug out bag, inch bag, as well as EDC items separately, but if you have the time and ability, it can't hurt to grab everything and sort it out in the car. One bag that you should not take with you or keep with the bug out bag is a car bag or get home bag. If you have the time, you may be able to scavenge some items from different bags to suit your needs at the time. Inside your vehicle, if you're able to do so, eventually you would like to have a car emergency kit, get home bag, as well as an extra bug out bag. 
chances are very high that you will leave from your home to get to your vehicle. So having a bag in the car ready to go can save precious minutes. Additionally, try to stay away from patterns, reflective materials, and bright colors on a pack. So as we wrap up the video, remember to stick with a plain yet functional pack that you can have ready at a moment's notice. It's important to pick a pack that you can wear all day comfortably and won't draw attention to you or those with you. All right, that's all I have for today's video. If there's anything you would like to see, please comment and let me know. Stay safe and stay prepared.